which has make people react crazy. The number one reason I would say is that What's up everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, the channel for online entrepreneurs and content creators who want to learn how to build their brand and marketing in order to make more impact and bring more income into their business. If this is something that you can be interested about, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any video that I upload. So in today's video, we're going to talk about, you know, the burning topic, Instagram. A few days ago, Adam Mosseri, the head of Instagram, announced that Instagram will no longer be a photo based platform but will become a video based platform which has make people react crazy online which i totally understand now let's discuss why instagram would want to be a video platform more than a photo platform it's because video content is the richest type of content that could exist into this world right now you can have audio visual and also text and i believe that instagram have noticed that a lot of users are not talking about tiktok and they sometimes even leave instagram for tiktok for many reasons the number one one reason I would say is that it is easier on TikTok to gain followers and to have more reach, which is something that we have to fight about every day on Instagram because of the algorithm. They also want to stay at the head of their game and they want to be the platform where everybody goes to. So of course that, you know, them seeing TikTok being very popular, having millions of users they want to keep up they want to step up their game and this is why they want to change how the platform will be from now on we already know that instagram have launched a real feature into their platform last year around october november and they want to keep going real is the feature that have been created specifically to compete against tiktok and a lot of people were very very happy that real you know started on instagram because it was a challenge to you know juggle between the two platforms in the beginning tiktok and instagram were very different so of course they want to keep going with competing with real versus tiktok but also igtv versus youtube i do believe that they're gonna change igtv to be like more of a youtube thing because you know people don't like to consume like long form video on reels why because i just simply believe that we are the fast food generation people want that content fast that value fast and quick we don't have two hours to watch a video on tiktok and on instagram and i believe that they're gonna use you know igtv to turn it into a mini youtube and this is already the case this is actually why you can post videos more than 10 minutes on igtv if you want to and a few days ago, somebody that I am very close with was looking at some IGTV's video and he said, hey, there is an ad before starting the video. This is new. I never seen that. This is why I do believe that, you know, they gonna use IGTV as the new YouTube. Now, I believe that they're testing out, you know, sometimes putting some ads to a few people to see how people will react. I don't think that it is the best thing to do as I think that it is very, very, very annoying on YouTube that every time that we're starting a video, there is an ad, two ads, and sometimes three ads beginning before we can even watch the video. So I really hope that they will not go down into that road, but there is a lot of chances that Instagram actually do the same because that will make them make more money now people don't watch videos on igtv as they watch videos on youtube and this is why they want to change also their platform not only they want to compete with tiktok but they also want to compete with youtube a lot of people spend hours on youtube watching content and they want the same on their platform this is why instagram will no longer be a photo based platform they have been analyzing the behavior of the users and apparently people love content video which is absolutely normal i think that people will be more leaning to look at videos now that look at photos or text content to be honest when i'm looking for something online i almost no longer go on google now i jump into youtube because i wanted people do the recipe in front of me i wanted people do you know the diy thing in front of me like i have no time to read a bunch of text and then photo is not enough this is why i think that they're leaning more to video content 
than just photo content. Now, who is targeted by this new change? Well, apparently it is specifically for creators. Instagram want to put the emphasis on content creators. A lot of people would say, yeah, they want to support content creators because they know that content creators use a lot their platform and stuff like that. I believe that they're doing that because they know that in order to survive and make money, if this is their main, you know, like way of making money, content creators will be willing to do anything to follow the trends. So whenever Instagram will change a feature, add a feature, change the algorithm, content creators will be the first one to get into that boat and do whatever Instagram tells them to do, which is different for, you know, people who just have private account, they don't really care, but content creators have actually no choice. If they want to be able to make money to be seen and to have more opportunities, they have to follow the rules of the platform so they have announced that they want content creators to be able to make money and make a living off of the creation which is also a great thing but I don't think that this is the real cause of why they want to push content creators I really believe that this is an opportunity for them to make more money and to kind of have you know the main group of people that will be following this new trend with the platform doing all of those changing now I do respect and I do love the fact that Instagram wants to reward content creators as it feels like there are the ones having also a harder time because they have to always adjust and adapt their content. I mean, a few days ago, everything was about, you know, doing stories and then carousels and then IGTV and now it's real. So it's hard to keep up and it's great that they can be rewarded for their work. Now I'm going to pause a little bit. If you have noticed a significantly drop into your Instagram engagement and reach, make sure to look at this video over here where I talk to how you can gain that back what all of this means to you I mean we already know what it means it means that guys you have to put in the work and start make more video content on Instagram I know it's annoying every now and then Instagram is changing something we heard about new algorithm new trend what you should do what you should not do to gain more reach to gain more followers and more engagement but at the end of the day this is the game of online uh, you know, presence and social media. Does that mean that you should absolutely stop doing photos and carousels and only post videos? Absolutely not. Continue to post your photos and your carousels. In Vindo, I would recommend you to do more carousels than only single photos into your feed, but start to implement more and more videos. If you don't know where to start and you think that it is time consuming, which I really believe that it is time consuming, you know, to create a whole video, quality videos, even though it's for IGTV reels or stories, I will recommend you to start by stories first and then figuring the rest you know along the way why because stories is actually the easiest feature on instagram you just have to grab your phone and then record yourself and you don't have to show your face every time you can show a process a creative process if you are in a mall then show the store where you're going what you're buying look at the price oh my god and then just took a picture i mean stories can be about everything it doesn't have to be only your face you can actually film your environment you can film i don't know anything that is happening around you and you can also add photos so it doesn't always have to be videos and thank god we don't have to edit too much or do too much into stories you just have to grab your phone and record as for IGTV and reels it is very different here you will have to put a little bit more work because we already know that Instagram will word you know uh, in reels section the videos that are having the best quality and also if you're using those music that are very trendy you will have more chances to have more reach and more people seeing your reels so if you have already planned some content ideas um, in advance maybe change certain contents on you know video type of content instead of doing a carousel you can record yourself and explaining the steps of everything instead of you know i don't know even saying a quote you don't have to post a photo you can just record yourself and say hey guys the grass is greener 
where you router it meditate that and this is a little video that you can just put into your igtv put into your reels or just into your feed so hopefully this have helped you i mean i know that you know it's a lot to keep up with but if there is something that you should remember from this video is that video content is the future okay remember that and make sure that you implement more videos into every type of social media that you have even your website because it's the richest content ever and people prefer video over text and photo if you have a business or you want to start a business or you are a content creator make sure to follow me on youtube and instagram where i give you more in-depth content about brand branding marketing presence online i hope that you like that video if you do put a thumbs up and if you want to know why photographers are at war with instagram right now make sure to look at this video right here i'm pretty sure that if you like this video here you will like this video over here make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video